Welcome to Talking Straight. I'm Suresh Kochar. It was just like another launch by the Indian Space Research Organization on the 26th of November 2022. The PSLV C-54 rocket's payload included an Earth observation satellite, OceanSat, and eight nanosatellites. But what makes the final mission of the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle, or PSLV, as is popularly known as for this year, even more special is the presence of three nanosatellites developed by two Indian startups. The Bengaluru-based startup Pixel had built Anand, its third hyperspectral satellite, on board the PSLV. This is the first time the company has conducted a launch from the Indian soil. Apart from that, the Hyderabad-based Dhruva Space launched two Thibault satellites. These are amateur ham radio communication nanosatellites intended to provide support to radio enthusiasts around the world. This comes a few days after India's first privately developed rocket Vikram S was launched on November 18th. Vikram S was developed by the Hyderabad-based startup Skyroot Aerospace Private Limited. It was a moment that the nation had been waiting for. As India's maiden private sector rocket launch was successfully done by Skyroot Aerospace, ISRO's launch pad at Sriharikota. It marked the first country space sector venture. The Vikram S suborbital solid stage rocket met all its mission criteria. The space regulator in space has been facilitating the entry of private sector players by guiding them through the paces and the hand holding process. Space program in India has been developed over the period of more than five decades with a strong focus on application driven programs and bringing space to the services of the common man. In the process, it has become one of the six largest space agencies in the world. ISRO, the Indian Space Research Organization, maintains one of the largest fleets of geocommunication and LEO remote satellite that cater to the ever-growing demand for fast and reliable communication and Earth observation. All these years, ISRO has developed several industries and micro, small and medium enterprises as a supply chain partners in its realization of launch vehicles and satellites. In view of the growing space sector business across the globe and to harness the huge untapped potential that exists in the country in terms of human resources and technical acumen, capabilities established in the industries in space sector, it is found prudent to establish a new generation of entrepreneurs to carry out the independent space activities. The US and European space programs have seen many private players, including the likes of Elon Musk SpaceX, Blue Origin, a private spaceflight company started by Amazon founder Jeff Bezos and Richard Branson's Virgin Galactic. On the other hand, India has been relatively quiet till now. But all that changed when Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi took a historic decision in June 2020 to open up the space sector to the private players and enable the participation of Indian private sector in the entire gamut of space activities. This was meant to facilitate the private sector participation and the government created the Indian National Space Promotion and Authorization Center or in space as it's called as a single window independent nodal agency which functions as an autonomous agency in the Department of Space. It plays an important role in boosting the private space sector economy in India. In space is responsible to promote, enable, authorization, supervise various space activities of the non-governmental entities that include, among others, building of launch vehicles and satellites and providing space-based services, sharing of space, infrastructure and premises under the control of the Department of Space and the Indian Space Research Organization, and of course, the establishment of new space infrastructure and facilities. Three directorates, Promotion Directorate, Technical Directorate and Project Management and Authorization Directorate are carrying out the functions of in-space. Coming back to the Vikram S launch, rocket launch, it has been validated more than 80% of its technologies and will be used in the Vikram 1 orbital vehicle that is planned for launch early next year. In the launch, it carried with us three customer payloads representing Space Kids, Bamboo's Armenia and N-Space Tech India. The mission was named Praram to signify the maiden space launch for Skyroot and the first for the Indian private space sector. The Vikram S rocket was used, built using advanced technologies including carbon composite structures and 3D printed components for a period of over two years. According to Pawan Kumar Chandana, co-founder of Skyroot Aerospace, 
the launch was pivotal moment for Skyroot Aerospace and for the Indian private space sector. Skyroot did create history by launching out Vikram S rocket, which was the first privately built rocket to be launched by India. But they're not resting on their laurels and will be going for the orbital vehicle by next year, as I told you before. Nagabharat Dhaka, co-founder of Skyroot Aerospace, reflected on the partnership which made the mission successful. India's first private rocket launch bears testimony of the strong partnership between Skyroot Aerospace, ISRO and InSpace, which is a perfect ecosystem for great mission to shake with in the future. The 200 plus Skyroot family had put in relentless efforts for the Pranam mission and this success is a testimony for the hard work that went into it. The second player, Dhruva Space, which had sent two tiny satellites recently aboard the ISRO PSLV C-54, which I spoke about earlier. Its co-founder, Abhay Agur, and the CTO of the Hyderabad-based startup, is said to be looking to raise US dollar around 20 to 25 million in the next one or two years to create the infrastructure facilities here to be able to launch satellites weighing up to 100 kilograms. After the successful launch of Thibault 1 and Thibault 2, the tiny satellite that went into space, the firm is now currently working on a satellite working about, weighing about 30 kgs, which are broadly catering to the communication and scientific applications on their P30 platform. As on 16th November 2022, 16 MOUs have been signed and five authorizations have been issued by InSpace and things can get only better from here. With over 105 startups having signed up so far, the Indian space sector is now all set to conquer the final frontier. The Hyderabad-based MTAR Technologies, which is one of the pioneers in the space, is also coming out with its own rocket launch, which will happen again next year, hopefully. So that is what SKYS is all about. Space, as I say, is the next frontier. Thank you for watching. Jai Hind. Please subscribe to Nationalist Hub English channel for more interesting videos. And don't forget to like and share this video. Nationalist Hub, it's a news revolution.